Hello everyone, welcome to Job Skillshare. In this video, we will create a USB bootable, um, basically for our server 2012 R2. Uh, we will plug in our USB to our computer first. So this is my USB right here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, format it. Make sure it's format FAT32 default and then you can whatever you want to label it I label it as disk it's kind of um, just to kind of remember and we'll click on start and that will format this USB so make sure when you do this step it will delete anything in this USB uh, so that's the warning right there the other way I want to do this is to also just um, go there to my right click on manage I mean this is something extra step that I take just to make sure um, sometimes even doing this it just doesn't work that way so what I'm gonna do right now is format it in a different way also so you'll go to disk management Okay, then you will get this right here. Uh, so what you need to do is right click on disk etch and we are going to format this. And you see it's the same options but just I like it doing this way too. So and then you get this message, make sure you read that and then click on OK. So now this will also format it again. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. So there's nothing in there right now. So what we need to do right now is to get the media uh, server 2012 R2 from internet. So go ahead and type google.com. And here type Microsoft server 2012 r2 download and you'll get the first link try windows server so you go ahead and click on that then you need to log into this site by using your um, Microsoft account you can be using Outlook Hotmail anything like that it should work um, so as you can see it ask, is asking me for, to sign in so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in So when you sign in, then you can basically see the ISO file. You need to download that. You need to right click on register. There's a few things that you need to do. Put your like email address and stuff like that. Then on the bottom you will see continue. So you'll click on that. And scroll down and then click on continue again. And then the bottom one, this one, you want all of that. So you click on download. Now I already downloaded it on my desktop so this is just going to take its time it's 4.2 GB so whatever USB you're using make sure it's bigger than this size right here so we have already formatted it I already downloaded it to my computer which is on my desktop okay so we got that it's on my desktop but you do need another um, application to mount this so you can be using any applications the one that I use and installed is virtual clone drive so let me just go to the internet right now and basically you go to Google and type virtual clone drive there you go and this first link right here SLY soft so when you click on that you will see this right here this is the guy right you want to download if you can find it over here you can also click on download here and scroll down and this is a freeware right here so it's free when you download it once you finish the download and everything you can just simply come here on the right click on this and then you can mount it through that virtual clone drive so I'm just waiting for that because it's slow I'm recording at the same time okay so then you just say right click open this open with mount files with virtual clone so when you click on that what's gonna happen it's like basically you plugged in the DVD into your computer just like that and you will see it right here on your computer so as you see we have free space USB and then we have this one mounted you need to right click on it and open it all you need to do right now is to copy and then paste it into this USB 
So when this is finished, we got everything copied, we're going to go to our server and then start our installation from this bootable USB. Okay, it's almost done. Okay, so once everything is copied over, just double click on this and make sure everything is in there. Um, now if this didn't work for you, make sure you go online and you probably have to use the CLI method to do this, but um, we'll just check it out in a few seconds. Um, but what you need to do after this, you just need to um, eject it safely. And just to make sure, what I'll do is I'm going to go unplug it and plug it back. You see right now this icon is basically the same as this one. That kind of tell me things are good for now. So we're going to go ahead up to the server right now and um, install 2012 R2 from USB. Alright, see you guys in the next video.